Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Here's Abdul and today we have a special episode that I do every six months. And uh, that's my State of the Watch collection. And uh, this time as you can see, the collection is smaller, uh, much more reduced. I try to always go by the three rules. So uh, three of every kind, that's the maximum that I would go and uh, try to reduce the collection as much as I could. Sold a lot of watches and I added one uh, from the last time. That's this, let me start with this. This is the Casio Twin Sensor, I think as GW100, that's the reference number. Uh, it's a pretty nice watch. I uh, tend to wear it when I'm going swimming or doing anything uh, that I don't require to need a G-Shock with, but uh, I need to have a clear view of what time it is because uh, that's what this watch offers. Also, when I used to go uh, pick up uh, mushrooms in the forest, I used to take this watch also because it's uh, pretty useful because it has a digital compass and a temperature gauge as well. So I'll put this one on the side and you all know this G-Shock, this is my favorite G-Shock at the moment and definitely took over the place from this one. This one is now uh, sadly for sale. So if you're interested in buying this G-Shock, leave in the comment section, maybe it will be sold now uh, when the video is out, maybe not, uh, but I'm uh, I don't have a place anymore for it in the collection. I'm trying to reduce as you as you are seeing and I have this G-Shock and if I want to buy a solar G-Shock I would buy also the one with the same shape with this Casio Oak shape So the two G-Shocks So and then also coming to our latest acquisition the Citizen Flieger Chronograph Echo Drive so that's why I'm also uh, selling the G-Shock because this watch took over the solar position because it didn't have any other solar watch. And this one is definitely my favorite watch of this year uh, from wearing because it's just wear it and go and uh, very cool dial as you can see. Let me clean the dial from my hand smidges. We have the seconds. You can start the chronograph and I love the plane on the second hand. It reminds me of Lemania chronograph movements that had also the same thing on the second hand. It has also the by compass, but uh, vertically on the six and the 12. So it's definitely a go-to watch of mine at the moment. The loom is very nice. Let me show you the loom. It's pretty strong. Anyways, I'm not uh, going to go deeper into this watch because it uh, will take a lot of time from the video. But this with this watch, I, I really enjoyed. And as you can see on my wrist, I have like now 17.1 or something like that centimeters. And oops, it just wears very nicely. I think it's 41 millimeters if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Here's the caliper. I can sorry for fidgeting with the watch too fast if so 42 and uh, maybe I'll go from you might have seen this in my last state of the watch collection my picky uh, Philippe Kluck uh, Sternenhimmel uh, hand wine dress watch custom made with my name celebrating my PhD a couple of years ago and uh, yeah <clears throat> still in love with the watch definitely my go go to go watch when I'm going any kind of meeting um, my first day at work I wore this watch my new work and uh, yeah it's pretty nice watch as well as you can see from the movement from the dial the attention to detail and uh, the starry sky sorry my my fingerprint <laughs> as you can see I'm trying to get you from the hands 
very very beautiful watch definitely check out uh, Felipe Kluck the, the, his watches are very nice <clears throat> ah I actually forgot that I acquired a new vintage watch and that's this Adora uh, from 1955 it has a manual line movement with a let me show you it has this very very nice sector dial and also it's just for a 1955 it just looks so modern now with this shape and this look and, uh, and even on my wrist like I said I have a 17 centimeters it's okay uh, as you can see some of my smaller watches I sold or my wife uh, took over them or I gave it to her uh, the Tudor Submariner for instance and uh, the Cartier Ronda that this one just I thought I'd, I'll, held, I'll hold on to it a, a bit um, but I, I actually would be selling it also so maybe check out if you would like to sit, buy this one as well you can leave me a message so for the watch that i'm not going to sell anytime soon or never uh my first automatic watch the seiko uh, the alpine is just gone and this is the only seiko left in my collection uh, with this mechanical perpetual calendar i put it back on this uh yeah rubberized waterproof strap not that the, wa the watch is waterproof or anything but just to give it a, a bit more summer uh, look to it um, maybe we'll jump back to the modern ones with blue and blue and summer then the Fortis my favorite summer watch is still here the Arabic dials Eastern Arabic dials automatic movement ETA I put it back on this uh, paratrooper bracelet even though it's 44 millimeters as you can see on my wrist it, it looks quite nice and uh, not too bulky and with the strap just looks really nice with the blues the blue from the strap the blue from the hands and this you can see the there is it's it's i feel that the the numbering even is not black it's like dark blue at this angle somehow i might be wrong but at least it feels that way for me another favorite of mine and you can see it's still here the nomos i sold the zin the 356 the flieger chronograph but the nomos the amsterdam ace jewelers limited edition with the manual hand wind movement the california inverted dial you have the arabic and the roman numerals and black red just the combination with this strap just looks perfect summer watch like i said uh, in one of my videos and one of my favorite definitely when i go anywhere in the summer i tend to take this one because you can dress it up with a, a, a red uh, alligator uh, strap or uh, a black strap or you can wear it on the rubber and just go to the beach with it and I went to the beach several times swam with it and it works perfectly until now so one of my favorites and my other favorite also is this Rolex Explorer 2 and it's my favorite because of this rubber B as well because on the rubber B it's just if we're talking about perfect summer watches just white on white just looks really nice and uh, just gives a very simple uh, uh, look that goes on anything you want to wear that's my my go-to go watch when I have anything on maybe going out in the summer with friends and I just put this on and just works uh, other watches like if you have a purple dial or something like that or, um, or maybe black and red you would avoid other colors maybe blue or uh, uh, let's say orange in the case of red as well so it, it doesn't clash with each other but this one just goes well with anything like the the day just one six two three four also goes well with everything um, as you can see both are tritium i'm a big tritium fan of the vintage ones and uh, it was it was because of this watch 
this started my vintage uh, not obsession but love of an appreciation of vintage watches this is my grandfather's uh, day just 1601 with a lacquered black dial from 1976 and um, i used to love seeing him wearing it and uh, uh, imagining when i grow up to purchase a day just myself that's why I, my first my first luxury watch purchase was a day just and uh, almost identical as you can see for me but uh, of course uh, two tone here white gold here um, two models above each other uh, but at the same time, it's just the simplicity and the, and the functionality of the watch. It's 100 meters water resistant, screw down crown, looks good in a suit, looks good in a short. That's why I love Daytrusts, that's why I'm, they are my favorite uh, uh, line uh, at Rolex. The Explorer is definitely a close second. So the last three watches are actually one vintage, or actually the three are vintage, but one is very retro, it has a... Uh, it's a quartz, uh, has a shape of, as you can see, the Royal Oak. It's from Zenith, collaboration with Movado. So we have Zenith and Movado, which you can see on the 6 o'clock. If you can look here, Swiss Zenith quartz. And it's called the Zenith Movado Museum piece. And... Uh, yeah, it's just a quirky piece my grandfather also had and uh, I do enjoy wearing it sometimes and when I uh, just go out and uh, with new people and then people are like, oh, what is this watch? And then we strike up conversations. Very, uh, very nice watch. The last two are also vintage watches. And as you can see, the Alpina is back. I went to service and I got it back from service. It works perfectly now and you can see the dial beautiful dial i put it on this mesh strap so it's usable in dry summer days and the elador geneve my last mechanical chronograph in my collection and i don't know i'm 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 tending to it's it looks beautiful it's a fantastic watch but i'm thinking about uh, parting ways also with it because i'm falling out uh, with chronographs the only chronograph i have is this one and as you can see it's still running it's restarted and uh, i don't see me wearing it that much now so that's why i'm 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 parting way through it even though i enjoy it and that's what happened with a lot of my watches that i sold i still enjoyed the watches that two there that's in but i had to part ways with it because the, the collection is getting too too large and i'm not wearing each watch equally so at the end of the day the hobby is about enjoying and not hoarding so i'm trying to release them in the wild let's say and uh, yeah try to try different tastes see different things and experience different watches and at the same time recycles the one that i have so anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like also hit the subscribe button it does help Comment which one was your favorite watch and uh, definitely if you have any suggestion, any question, leave them in the comment section as well and hopefully see you in the next one. And definitely you will find here the subscribe button and you will find two videos that might 